Hi there, my name's Adam and I'm going to show you the steps I take to work out the native resolution and frame rate of a game on Stadia. Firstly, I ensure I'm on 4K performance mode as captures taken on 1080p will be a maximum of 1080p, which would make it impossible to see a resolution above that. Additionally, I use 4K mode as most games on 1080p will run at a maximum of 60 frames per second, with some exceptions. The true test is how they perform on their maximum resolution. I'll start by showing you how to calculate the frame rate using Destiny 2 and Red Dead Redemption as examples. Working out a game's native frame rate is really easy. All you need is a few seconds worth of game footage captured, which I'm going to go ahead and do on the two games now. Once I have the captures I need, and I usually do them one at a time, the next step would be to download them, and as you can see, I've already done that. So from there, I'll open up VLC and move to the point in the capture where I start moving the camera, and then I will go frame by frame by pressing E. And there you have it. As you can see, Red Dead Redemption only shows movement on every other frame, which means it's rendering at a native frame rate of 30 frames per second. Whereas Destiny 2, you can see movement on every frame, which means it's 60 frames per second. And that is all that's needed to work out the native frame rate of any game on Stadia. Working out a game's native resolution is a bit more difficult than the frame rate and requires a lot of patience. This time I'll show you how it works by using Destiny 2 once again. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you can find a straight line that is not parallel or perpendicular with the screen and nor is it 45 degrees from the screen as Google's 4K upscaling mode is particularly good at diagonal lines. Once I have the captures I need, I can go ahead and close the game. Once I have the captures I need, I go ahead and download them, and I then look through them for the best candidate for what I need. Now, because this is quite a long process and very often requires me to take multiple captures, I've already gone ahead and done that process, and I've discovered that this is the best candidate for my need. So I'm going to open it up with the most professional image editing tool in the business, Microsoft Paint. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for stepping. Good examples of stepping would be just here. And here are some more smaller steps. And from this, I look for a nice straight line that's got some clear stepping that I can use to ascertain the resolution of the game. I'm liking the look of these black steps. They're not perfect, but they will certainly do. So the next job is to pick the line tool 
a color that stands out from the rest and then draw out 30 pixels. You can see down in the bottom left, it tells me the length of my line that I'm drawing. I then go up one space, ooh, one space, and I take this line to where it uh, falls on another step. That is my sample. And this will represent the rest of the image. So if I go ahead and zoom back in, the job now is to count each step. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the final one, fifteen. What that means is in a sample size of thirty pixels, there are fifteen steps. So we then take this data to our very scientific method Windows calculator and we put in this sum 15 divided by 30 times by the image resolution which is 2160p that is the 4k resolution that will give us the final resolution of the game 1080p and that is how you pixel count a game on Stadia. And let me tell you, not all games are this easy to pixel count. And there you have it. All you need to know about determining the native resolution and frame rate of a game on Stadia. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out Stadia Source, your number one source for news and reviews.